What are you doing here? I live here. What are the two of you celebrating? The engagement party we're throwing for Louise and Sheridan this evening. Louise and Sheridan are engaged? Oh, wonderful! I'm going to call them and congratulate... Wait. Why are you throwing them an engagement party? Father thought it would be an appropriate gesture. Oh, no, no, no. Alistair can't be happy that Sheridan is engaged to Louise. As far as your daddy dearest is concerned, Louise is nothing but a lowly, nosy cop. So what's the plan, Julian? What's in store for Louise and Sheridan at this engagement party? I repeat, what awful thing do you have planned for Louise and Sheridan at this engagement party? Whatever do you mean? What could we possibly do to Sheridan at a fete in her and Louise's honor? Yes, I mean, can't the Cranes throw a party for a family member? I mean, Sheridan is Alistair's daughter and Julian's sister. Oh, I am very well aware of Sheridan's lineage, Rebecca. I am also well aware of her abiding need for her father's love, and somehow I can't help but think that Julian and Alistair are taking advantage of it. Need I remind you that at one time you were willing to help father and me tear apart Louise and Sheridan in exchange for leaving Teresa and Ethan alone? Yes, I know, and I am ashamed of myself, but I was only trying to protect my son. Yes, well, as it turns out, you couldn't protect him. The whole world found out he wasn't a crane because of your lies. Nevertheless, <clears throat> father and I kept our word. We did nothing to try to tear apart. Ethan and Teresa. That was all my doing, and I'm not finished yet. Yes, uh, Alistair and Julian were devastated when the family lost Ethan. They're determined not to lose Sheridan, too. So you see, Father and I are not up to anything. This party is simply to show Sheridan our love and support. Mrs. Crane, you have a call. Thank you. I'll take it in the foyer. However, did you stay married to her for all these years? By ignoring her as much as possible. <clears throat> Unlike you, my pet. You see, I couldn't involve Ivy in my schemes as I can you. <laughs> I just want to prove to you that I will be everything you have ever wanted in a wife, and more. Yes, you really know how to crack the whip, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm ever so grateful that you finally convinced Louise and Sheridan to come to this engagement party. I was less than happy with Father's alternate plan. I really don't want to kill my own sister. Hmm. Yeah, and I uh, certainly don't want to help you. <laughs> Little does Ivy know that by going to this so-called engagement party, Louise and Sheridan save their necks. Hmm. Of course, Sheridan's life will be ruined, but well, at least she'll still be alive. True. I really couldn't abide going to a funeral again so soon after the last one. Thickest thieves, I see. Get off your high horse. Nothing's going to happen to Louise and Sheridan at their engagement party. What about before the party or after? Pity her imagination wasn't this active in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you inviting to the party, Julian? Oh, the whole town can come if they wish. <laughs> the more the merrier. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. <clears throat> The two of you, snobs, are willing to mingle with the local folk? Oh, my, 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 yes. Something is up indeed. How oh, Ivy. Do you hear that? You hear what? It sounds like people screaming in terror. A, a woman and a, a little boy. Oh, well, now I hear them. Sounds like they're getting closer. Well, yeah, it sounds like they're coming straight this way.
mind me dropping by unannounced. <laughs> that doll. What about it? I've talked to it twice. Once on the godforsaken prom boat and again when I was trapped in the mine shaft. Really? Yes, really. Something strange about that old woman and her freaky doll. Even father warned me to stay away from her. Uh, Pookie, I think you need a drink. A big, stiff drink. So, I know what I saw. That doll is alive. I... It, it can come to life. I've talked to it. I'm sorry, you said you're, you're divining, Rod? Oh, yes, well, uh, being a senior citizen, I live on a fixed income, and sometimes uh, money gets tight. So my divining rod has often led me to hidden treasures. <laughs> and this time it's zeroed in on you good people. <laughs> I assure you there are no hidden treasures here. It's all out in the open. <laughs> A subtlety lost on my rod, I'm afraid. Where is it? What? Where's that little doll of yours? Where is the gnome? Lying in wait, no doubt. wrong with you? What? I, I thought I was the only living doll in your life. <laughs> this is no time for jokes. I'm telling you the doll is alive. Since he isn't here, it must mean he's on the loose in the house. I have to find him. Julian, wait! He's just... You know, I think the stress that Alistair has you under is finally starting to take its toll here. I mean, dolls don't just suddenly come to life and roam around houses. Toy top must be around here somewhere. Um, uh, um, Julian, you know I have those little blue pills. Why don't I get you one of those? You'll feel better right away. I won't rest until I find that runaway rag doll. Nothing is out of the ordinary here, Julian. What are you a hiding about? This. That? This is the drink the doll makes. He calls it a uh, martini. Actually, quite tasty. Uh, uh, Julian, you're you're trying to tell me that the doll snuck in here and made itself a drink. But there's the proof. Well, then why isn't the doll drinking it? Well, he obviously left. Yeah. Honey, you need to lie down. Let me get you those pills. Uh, no, don't, don't bother. I'll drink this instead. Oh. God. What have we here? What? It's a button, Julian. Yes, but not just any button, Bex. This is from the doll's glove. I must find that doll. 